if you don't love the person you want to get married to, stay away. <laughs> walk just, away. Just walk away. <laughs> hmm? So, uh, to fast forward the talk, the next is we cross all those orders and it was now time to propose. So, when I got there, so when I got there, you know, the normal proposer, the proposer, ah, because we don't go to each other's house, so she doesn't even know my, she doesn't know the color of the rug in my house. So we are not supposed to go to each other's house. So the next thing was that um, when I just walked up after church service, I just walked up to her. When she saw me, she was laughing. I guess she knows what exactly I'm, I've come to do. I now said, I have two versions for you. She was just laughing. said, the version one, the church version. I now started in my usual funny way. Sister, I have prayed and I've asked for direction. And I've also seen the married committee. God has revealed to me that you are my wife-to-be. And I have come to ask for your and the marry. I just said, I, it might not be exactly this way because it's long now. It's about 10 years ago. I just said the church version. Immediately I finished that, she was laughing. She was just looking at me that this person. Then I said, this is my own version. I love you and I want to get married to you. <laughs> Answer me now. <laughs> <laughs> so, the story was that, I said, now. I want answer now. Something I've been waiting for all this while. I want answer now. We just laugh because already we now know that, yes, we have tried. We've done the right thing. The church has actually helped us to build a formation against anything that can open up some danger zone, early pregnancy, diseases, abortion, and uh, not all this nonsense that would have just ruffled the marriage and if we have done all that if we have done against what the church was actually helping us then to do i'm sure you'll not be seeing us today and talking not about see- this there will be no cetros vlog and you'll not be seeing us smiling and that's why the love is actually something that like you waited for somebody Okay, I was actually 20. You know, I said, the first day I set my eyes on him, I was like 12, 13 years. So since then, I've been actually liking him. Although I still see so many other guys and like them. And so, But the day I actually knew I was to get married to him was when I was 20 years. And for crying out loud, we did not get married until I was 27. Mm-hmm. So and I was 30. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So And I discovered her, I, I think I should be within... 17, 18. That was when I knew that she's actually going to be my wife. So can you see? And there was no kissing, no this. The waiting so, time was so much. And that is why whenever you see us on the Disney, I'm holding her and I'm talking about love. I'm talking about events of the world. I'm talking about this thing. I'm always like, you know. And that's why I get scared when I see all these people that want to just be monitoring everybody. They want to give us some things on our body so that whenever you hold your wife, they'll see like, whoa, 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 there's a touch in there. <laughs> that's just on the light mode. So that is, I think, um, the way you find your love also determines how much of it you treasure because uh, we waited for a very long time. When the time actually arrived for us to come together, we were just... It was as in, I couldn't even imagine. It is what they call in Africa, Siriri Welele. Uh, one of my husband's friends, colleague, had all said, ah, can you just imagine? So today you just, because they knew we're all these, all these Pikoko type that we don't go into each other. So I said, okay, I'm just going to wake up the next day now. You now see a woman by your side. Yeah. <laughs> as in, it was not as... Uh, I, I, and you know the funny stuff, so many of my colleagues in the bank then, when I was working at the bank, um, so many of my colleagues, they were when they had, they just had because they've not seen me with any woman. They've not seen. And me they were with planning any girls for you. And they were planning girls. They were bringing girls. I'm not interested. It is, they were concerned that this guy is not even talking about any relationship and the likes. So they were concerned, and they have been planning their own wedding and this thing. All of a sudden, they just it's like so hearing somebody saying suddenly I want to get wedded. And when I just came and said I'm getting wedded, so so and so, they were like. Ah, who? What? Ah, who? You or somebody else? So they were so surprised. And by the time they saw my wife, 
Hmm, you know, she's this churchy chinkolo. <laughs> I've really worked on now because I wasn't seeing how she was then. I was seeing the future that this is the model I want to build. I love when a, a wife is coming in thin. She was tiny like a tiny mosquito. <laughs> She was tiny like a tiny toothpick. Immediately after my after the wedding, I said, yes, this and this is what I want her to look like. And I started working on it. And mm. I brought out all this beautiful shape. All these Ologico men that are always looking, looking, turning their neck whenever they see my wife passing. And whenever we are presenting, it's her lips you are looking at. Oma <laughs> Wopeni. Because I invested <laughs> in what you are seeing today. <laughs> That is beautifully beautiful. <laughs> and one good thing about uh, us is that we love natural. We love to look natural. I I can't even remember. You know, you can say everything about her is natural. She's just nature. And we speak nature. Everything is just the way I want it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, yeah. I just prefer my wife to look like this. Natural. I don't want addition. No. Uh, you know, when, when I was in school, my university days... My my uh caused me to say, ah, sister Joke, what if your husband tells you to do this, to do that? As in, I said, then he's not my husband. I've never even known about I said, then he's not gonna be my husband because he, <laughs> he has to say. so that was just it. And I really, really want to really, really thank God. It's been wonderful, it's been funny, it's been lovely. There have been real challenges. If you want to hear about the challenges, you just have to wait back. Yeah. There is no successful marriage without challenges. We are concluding this series just to talk about how we met. We met. So, if you guys want to learn about our challenges, hmm. what we we'll pass through, even because some of you, some people might be like, ah, and I prayed very well, oh, and I did a whole lot to make sure that I did not have uh, challenges in my marriage. Let me tell you, there are several challenges in marriage, even if it is God that brought the two of you together. You will still have to fight your battle. But the good thing is that if it is God that brought the two of you together, He will give you the leeway, as in to help you out. But if you are the one that just picked based on your own interest and you did not commit it to God, the challenges you will face, you might not even live to tell the story. Mm. So, and that's why in subsequent series, if you want us to talk about it, it is now left for you, the viewers. Just comment below. That we should talk about the challenges we pass through and how we're, and able, how we're able to overcome. I tell coping you, coping with each if other. You, if you listen, if we ever get the opportunity to do those series for you, you will know that whatever you have passed through is so, so, so microsomic. Mm. Microsomic. <laughs> what I mean is that the, the, the power, the spirit that wants to speak English is boiling inside of me. Because let me tell you, the challenges will pass through. If a country should pass through it, that country might die. But in everything, we just continue to see God. And the joy side of life. In, stepping in and giving us the grace to build joy out of everything that we face. And um, today we can proudly say that we've been a source of joy to numerous families that were not even they were not even linked to us. People that we do not even know. God has really helped us to touch lives and the global community. We've been able to help so many people to make the right decision, and we intend to be like this forever till death do us part. Because till we breathe our last breath, we want to continue to affect people's life, especially the youths of Africa and the world in general, to what? Positively. Positively. Positive agents mm -hmm. of change. As in, it's been God all the way. It's been the Holy Spirit. We must acknowledge Him. These are greatest acknowledgement. Please permit us to do it. It's not maybe we're going. Mm. We appreciate your religion. We appreciate you. We like your comments. Do whatever you want to do. Please let's just say this. It's been the Holy Spirit all through. So let's just say it this way, and it must be said. So we really love you. <laughs> so this is our love story. How it all started mm -hmm. more than ten years ago. About 10 years ago. And this year we are 10 we got, <laughs> in our wedding 
10, 10 years plus because it's 10 over 10 plus. years yes. now as in 10 years plus so that's just it it's it's been wonderful 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 great 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 so having you listen to all the series so we'd like to know if you want us to come in the next series catch you love you bye bye, bye.